passing profile provides a deep insight into the passing game of an individual player or whole team. It takes into account factors such as main direction, pass length, pass difficulty and completion rate. There are eight different main directions. The most frequently used main direction is highlighted in the graphic as the preferred direction. Forsberg again! Ah! Here we distinguish between long and short passes. A long pass is defined as one where the recipient is over 30 metres away. Edmund Tapsaba is among the best passes in the league in this category. By contrast, Stuttgart's Wataru Endo prefers short passes. These are passes over a distance of less than 10 metres. And he's one of the top five players in the league at this. In this way, the passing games of the players can be perfectly compared against each other. The passing profile also deciphers what's a supposedly easier pass and what's a more difficult pass, and does so by calculating their expected success rates. Passes with a success probability of under 75% are categorised as difficult. The calculation includes the length of the pass and the number of opposition players it has to beat. The passing profile now enables us to evaluate players' performances with an additional criterion. This also makes it possible to identify types of goalkeeper who play a significant role in the build-up play, thus contributing creative qualities. Ortega goes long and here is Johan Swimmer Edmundsson. The angle closing, he took on the shot and finds the target. And the party starts for Bielefeld. In the same way, strikers can also be better analysed in the way they link up attacking play and what tasks they perform. Here we see Van Veghorst, who passes one in three balls backwards, often with his back to goal. New statistics, new insights. The passing profile powered by AWS makes it even easier to understand, categorise and compare players and their playing styles.